What does shared life mean to you, Ethan? Family. What's that called? The birdie song. You like to do that, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> That's the best one I like. Working in care, everybody done amazing jobs, but I could see that that continuity of care does wonders. And it is proven. It is proven in shared lives. So it's such a rewarding job in every way. It's everything I thought it would be. First it, it was getting to know each other, which I think is a normal thing, isn't it? But we kind of gelled quite well, didn't we? We laughed together, we share everything together. When Ethan first came to me, he lacked a lot of confidence. He showed very little interest in a lot of things except for his Xbox. As time has gone on, his confidence has glowed through. Nothing's too much of a challenge, he'll, he'll have a go. He likes to have a little bit of responsibility, which we, we give him. He goes independently to the local supermarket. When you first came to me, you wasn't really confident enough to do that, was you? Would that be fair to say? Yeah. He helps me with cooking and cleaning up, don't you? Yeah. He does his own washing and ironing now, as before he didn't. Ethan just fits into our family environment and yeah, it's just like he's part of us. And that's the most rewarding thing. What's your favourite thing in college? Wheels. It's mechanics. Like you, you changing the car into a racing car. We're aiming towards him doing a little bit of voluntary work next in the local charity shop, which he can walk to independently and then build it up from there. We feel very, very well supported by the Shared Lives team. We do. We do indeed. A fabulous team. It'd be nice that more people were referred and could prosper in the way that Ethan has. It's an incredible, incredible thing, isn't it? Would you tell your friends to go into shared lives, Ethan? Definitely. <laughs>